Ayo, Chixo here. You guys have joined this video for the HP title. So first of all, some of you guys might be asking, hey, why are you doing this? First of all, the HP title, the 4% HP title is only available while doing tower. So if you finish tower and you don't have it yet, you can't work on any of those missions because we can't redo the tower until the next month. So why not clearing it easy? Also, it's pretty important for some guild bosses where you might use HP food. So it would be helpful because it's free more score to make your life easier. Also, by the way, I'm right now or we are right now on a really good pace on Twitch for Twitch partnership. Getting Twitch partnership. Currently, my goal is it to have a average viewership of over 75 viewers over 30 days. And it's really not easy. But without your guys help, but with your guys' help, I think we can do that. So guys, those are going to be the missions. And as you guys can see, I'm doing this for you guys. Because as you can see, I have the mission already. But yeah, so first of all, how do we get the HP title? Here, first of all, I think pretty clear you have to clear it three times the whole tower, which means you can't get the HP title in less than in less than three months. That's why I'm really advising you guys to do the missions you can do. This one, I don't need to give everything I got. You need to take three SI units and the fourth unit you can decide yourself. Probably a rare unit if you're strong enough would work too. But obviously a SSI unit with three SI units are much better. So um, that's going to be your teams. This one is, you can't lose, if I'm not wrong, it should be only for stage 25, but uh, I am not 100% sure. So if you lose, you could also quit out. If I'm not wrong, if you quit out, it doesn't count as a loss. It also doesn't count as a win. So if, just quit out if in case you are losing instead of just playing it out. There's also a problem though. You are not allowed to lose, for example, but this one, you have to lose in floor two. Uh, you have to lose in floor one two times. This is one of the most tricky ones because most of the people just rush the tower and they go in and it's impossible to lose there unless you just sk skip every run. Unless you just skip every turn. So um, here, this one is also pretty tricky. You have to actually lose 20 times in the last stage. So that's why you, it's another reason why you can't do it within one try right away. And the sub can't make it. It seems like uh, some people did the tower already and your whole box seems to be count as a team. So the sub can't make it is just actually basically not there anymore. I won't say it's 100% like that. So I will only show one team. We are going to use one team and rush through the tower. So guys, this is going to be the team I have chosen for with Chet together. So Chet actually told me it's the easiest tower of all the towers we had so far. So instead of those units, you can also use different units. I'm using Red Terrico just to have more damage, more crit chance. To make it a bit faster so you could also use a unit for example um the red dreyfus who increases defense or you can use any other units too i think backline for example a weinhardt is also pretty good but yeah we are going to auto the first stages and i think we will show you guys the more or less harder stages on the easiest tower also i didn't think through about the positioning so him on the right side is better because, yeah, uh, the AI will defense break and then Los Vane will use the AOE and then the first stages should be pretty fast.
So guys, maybe you have noticed during the last few stages until 19, I used the event food, but not because it was too hard or whatever. I just wanted to make it faster and I saw LV took a bit too much damage actually. That's why I decided to just use the food to make it safer, more lifesteal. And if you want to avoid that Lost Vein gets targeted, right now just check the HP stats. AIs usually prefer to attack a unit if there's everyone depending on the first of all um, weakness but if there's no weakness they go for the HP and Lost Vein has the lowest HP at the moment so I think the smartest here would be if I just take off two of her cosmetics and she should be the one who gets targeted I'm not 100% sure if that works but it should work like this actually we can take one back but yeah so this is basically how you can change the AI of units so that um, they start to target a different unit and let's just do the they trendy now so like I said it's what I heard the easiest tower I think we just rush the ult here um I will use this and I will okay I won't move I will burn a card so that in case I'm getting another lost bank card it would be cool so let's see yeah you can you can change the units every time now what people told me is that uh, also that um the whole your whole tower your whole thingy counts as a team now Okay, maybe, uh, yeah, here as you can see, she gets attacked. But damn, I didn't know we get dissolved. So I guess I have to use this. Oh, I should defense break first. They deal a decent amount of damage, yo. So we really get need to get rid of the left minion because it has ult. But yeah, so the left minion is gone for now. Okay, nice crits actually. Um, So let's see. Do we get dissolved is a question. Here we unfortunately lose our list, but we get a lot of new cards. That's great. Okay, perfect. I think, I think it's, oh, we lost, damn, we lost all our, our cards. Yikes. That's annoying, but it's still fine, I think. Um, I will do this, this, by the way, uh, she will get attacked, which is not cool. Let's see. Oh, I see. I see, Soha. I see. I Yeah, I didn't read anything, to be honest. Because, yeah, uh, you guys told me it's the easiest tower. So I didn't know that, but... We are right now chilling. So, hopefully no units dies. But actually, I think we might kill them here right away. So, Cherico will die for sure, but yeah. Um, the Lost Vein will just smash this i think he should rock this yes <laughs> he did <laughs> so um we're going to jump to stage 24 i heard 24 is one of the a bit harder stages so for this i changed the food to the defense food because they deal a decent amount of damage and uh, thinking about it it really worked out but i think you guys want lost vein to get attacked so here we are on stage 23 and that's why I will pick this back so Lost Wayne will get targeted and cards will get ranked up. So, okay. Let's see. Um. Okay, patience. Uh, patience. Okay, we got critted. Great. So, okay, um, we're gonna just debuff. And I think we try to kill the left one because the left one has attack cards. And yeah, the reason, by the way, why I show stage 23 is because someone told me that this stage is annoying. Okay, maybe I should have attacked the right side because, yeah, the right side would have probably died for sure. Um, this is not cool. Maybe I should have... Okay, I can't rush the ult anyways. So maybe this one is harder than I thought, but we will heal up again. 
and we easily can tank this because we have the event food which is really helpful but yeah i need to get rid of a lot of cards i should heal i burn this and if i can no they will cleanse so it doesn't help to attack seal okay mellow uh take care thanks for tuning in so yeah unfortunately they will cleanse i think right yep they cleanse i need more lost vein cards but at least lost vein is uh basically full health every time um if we use the heal or if he life steals back that's why i use Zelda's link by the way um so yeah and no i didn't knock i didn't i don't see a reason to so i think we will just do this we are yeah her ult is gonna be very cool too we can burn this so if you guys don't know what Liz does is she has a rejuvenate and a rejuvenate heals over four turns i think her heal was over four turns 60 percent of the hp so basically the event food is just making this way too easy way 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 too easy so maybe i should have used different food but uh it's whatever um this one is for everyone to try to get this done ASAP. This is not cool, but yeah, so we just ult with her, have the Retrovionate. We use this AoE and this will give us two ult gauges. I mean, yeah, why not? It also maximizes the card draw. So, um, that's cool. Uh, no, I don't use uh, Green Gotha in PvP. So... Yeah, now we're getting the ult of Diane, which is cool if we can keep the ult. Damn, the ult did a lot of damage to Diane, guys. A lot of damage. But yeah, I think we're good to go. So we can ult the left unit easily. Should die. And we can maximize our card draw by using this card. So with event food, the stage is... A piece of cake maybe oh damn we didn't kill i thought we would kill damn damn i think i should have rushed the lost vein ult if i would have been able to kill so it was actually good uh my brain lagged a bit um i don't even know about the waifu event not gonna lie i haven't checked that so i think he can't dissolve, right? So if we rush the ult of Lost Vein, we can just ult and it's GG. So, yeah. If you don't use the event food, they deal a decent amount of damage, which you definitely want to avoid, like for example this one. Um, wait a second. <laughs> I think we're still fine. I think we're still fine. Don't worry. Um... We do this we need to deal as, as much damage as we can so i think cherico does more damage okay we actually might be in trouble guys but i think we are still fine we're still okay i think so this is the aoe which doesn't do too much damage i think yeah, I, I wonder why, or I wonder how my Lost Vein actually died, guys. My day was great. Uh, speedly. What about you? I think I should get the ult of... A yeah, Cherico ult is better, I think. So we do this. And uh, we might actually kill here. Does he has another life? He doesn't. So, the one shot on my Lost Vein was a bit off guard so i think it was a good decision to show this stage too i think with the event food pretty easy to go 24 cool we got another lost main card um i really haven't read any of those skills so i just hope they don't have a dissolve um because we can easily rush the ult because of the cool cards we got so let's see um if we can or if we should kill someone he dissolved even a bad card. That's cool. Yeah, I think I can kill this. If I... No, I think actually if I just do this. 
we want to make sure that we just kill. And I think the single target will finish this off. Yes, perfect. So it will attack the right side. And we Gucci. Oh, it killed. So I heard this stage is supposed to be a bit harder. But it seems like if you have a good Lost Vein, you are good to go. <laughs> so, um, attack crit damage Lost Vein, maybe. Might be better. Mine is on attack defense. Because, yeah, if you crit, you obviously deal much, much more damage because you have 20% more crit damage. Okay, he has another life. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get another. Oh, we don't have another Lost Vein card. Which is annoying, but it's okay. Or maybe it's not okay, actually. Um, so right now, this is a very unlucky run. But we can get her ult. So with her ult, we should be good to go. Um, unfortunately, my Lost Vein couldn't heal enough. So Lost Vein might die. He actually might die. This is stage 24, why, Marcy? I mean, I was also super lucky to get that start, by the way. I just got a freaking double double Lost Vein start, right? But yeah. So, um... We have, oh, we lost the ult. I'm so stupid. But yeah. Um, I'm using this team because I want to make life harder than making life easier. You know? Of course, you, could, you only have to use the SR units in the last stage. But... Why not doing it in the whole tower instead of the last stage? Right? Yes, I'm stupid. Yes, I'm dumb. Let me be dumb. <laughs> you know, because this is this is the easiest tower and um also the thing is like the sub can't make it. It used to be that you can only use one team in total. They seem to have it changed. I don't know if it's really like that. People who I do trust said your whole boxes count as one team now, so it should be good to go, but yeah, um, it's still easy even if we use this team and I'm also super lazy to change gear and to change a unit out, right? So yeah, that's how to do 24. Nice. Beep, 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 warning, warning, warning. Do not go into 25 right away if you haven't had the mission where you have to lose 20 times in the last stage. Keep that in mind. So, okay, um, I think the strat here is trying to get Lost Vein ult ASAP. It's unfortunate that we didn't start with a second Lost Vein card, but let's see. So, oh, okay, nice, he critted. Perfect, we can rush ult, which is great. Um. I hope we uh yeah I think we actually have to use the AOE too to lifesteal enough because I don't want Lost Bane to die, right? So we do this, we move once, and we should be able because of the elemental advantage, we should be able to kill this. So let's see. Pew pew. Oh no second crit. Okay, come on. We should be good to go. Oh that that did a lot of damage, guys. That did a lot of damage, yo. This does a lot too. This is fine. I think we're we're chilling. We're chilling. It was a really good decision. That. Oh damn. Damn. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. But it's okay. So um, we can definitely kill this guy, and we don't want to make any risks. So we do this, and we just top up our lost vein and maybe maybe we get some more lost vein cards would be cool so yeah heal oh we are full already yeah because we are having a tech link for Liz she heals by a lot oh damn no cards no lost vein cards at all but I think we're still good to go we can merge the defense break and then ult and of course if you have low ult level on your lost vein um, you probably need more cards right hey zekrom how you doing so we do this and we ult so let's see um probably they gonna revive or whatever i don't know i actually wish i would have kept um a heal card but okay now we are top up again now okay the ult oh cool 
This is cool that he didn't ult Lost Vein. And now he's targeting Lost Vein again. Which makes life much, much easier. Right? I was really afraid that Lost Vein might actually die here. Um, but he didn't. Which is great. Um, if I do this, I can get a lot of Lost Vein cards. Like this. Perfect. Yeah, the towers are much, much easier now. Because you can change your team's every every fight you don't have to go all those fives fives anymore until it saves it will save right away so yeah here um i agree this one is the easiest tower i've ever done um i mean who knows maybe maybe i will lose it here now because yeah who knows right uh i should defense break he did 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 we pop the passive already, guys? So we do this. And uh, hopefully... Oh, okay. I don't know if he revives or not. I honestly didn't pay attention. Okay, uh, Twitch chat says there's no revive. This was too easy. So if you guys have lower ult level on your Lost Vein, for example, you guys ha should have seen I didn't have any Lost Vein card at all. And... Yeah, this tower is super easy if you use the event food. I think it's still super easy if you use normal food. And um, yeah, so basically the strat here is just get the Lost Vein ult. And whenever you ult and have maybe one or two more cards of Lost Vein, it will one shot. So yeah, if this was helpful guys or you enjoyed watching this, comment, like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and Peace out for now.